So this is a uh, eight year old child. Uh, and this is how he presented to uh, Molin with shortening, uh, you know, severe virus at the neck uh, with uh, probably pseudarthrosis at, at the neck. And uh, what he uh, sort of uh, question he had in mind, what intervention and how to fill the gap within the neck region and how to plan the correction and which implant to use. You know, again, a problem in a pediatric hip of this type. And uh, he did an X-ray in maximum adduction, you know, because that is what we do to plan this procedure. That is how we want our hip to be. This is also gives an idea whether in this position, if there is a hip instability and any, any additional acetabular procedure, if needs to be done. So he planned for a femoral procedure, uh, you know, according to Powell's uh, principles. And uh, along with the subtrochantric uh, abduction translation osteotomy, so it's an angular translation osteotomy, which he has done. He also did a fibular graph to fill in the gap. And uh, this is a six months follow, uh, which shows that uh, it's healing well. Maybe there is some subluxation of the hip or uncoverage of the head uh, because of the valgus, but uh, you can see at 1.5 years follow up, uh, this is the picture and uh, these are the functions of the patient. And uh, he feels that of course, this child needs to be observed further for limb length discrepancy and hip dysplasia. But the aim of uh, correcting this very severe virus and uh, giving a mechanical better alignment to the hip uh, was achieved in this case. So thanks Molin for sharing this case.